A verse from our holy book takes me back to the wild till this day, which quotes, there is no living creature, nor a creature that flies with two wings, but communities like you. And as the famous quote says, seeing is believing. I've been lucky to witness these communities, and I was able to see hate, love, betrayal, in the wild. Not only that, I was able to see how the strong becomes weak and how the weak becomes strong. Real meaning of life. Good morning to all of you, Li living, not existing. I would like to share a story from the wild that I will cherish all my life. The story seemed to me as a deja vu when compared to my personal life. As I approached the scene, a group of sub-adult lions were fighting against a very strong lioness from another pride. The closer I got, I noticed at a distance that her two little cubs were being chased by one of the sub-adult lions to be eaten. I was hoping for something to happen, and a miracle did happen when the two little cubs were able to split themselves. That resulted in their survival. Now back to the lioness fight. She looked tired, injured, and weak. Yet she continued to fight with all her strength. The fight did end when the sub-adult lions finally left the lioness alone. She, did, she decided to rest for a couple of minutes. That's when she looked towards me, and I noticed that she was blind in one eye. She really surprised me. At that moment, she looked weak, yet she continued to fight. I was surprised how did she get all of that confidence, courage, and continue to fight. I was thinking, what is she going to do next? As I sat there thinking, all of a sudden, I heard her voice calling out for her cubs. I was shocked. How did she even know that they are still alive? A very strong lesson dawned on me that day. Us, at different stages of our life, are fighting or struggling for something. Usually we feel lost, and sometimes it feels like we are stuck in our mind and there is no way out. When our small human mind cannot see the bright side of things, that's when we have to just let go, trust, and believe that everything is going to be okay, and take it one day at a time. Most of you might be thinking, how did I start, start my wild life? How did I go to the wild and start wild life? I'm sure that most of you might be thinking that my parents are photographers, and I grew up loving animals, and I'm going to do something along that line with animals or photography. To tell you the truth, till today, I fear domestic animals. I would like to share with you different phases of my life that made me who I am today. Let's rewind when I was two years old. That's when I first went to the United States with my parents. In that phase, it was very important for me to grow up in the United States, to get used to being surrounded by people from different backgrounds, cultures, and religions, and it became my norm till today. Being in the United States, was equally important for my mom so that she has a different perspective on life. So when I came to her with all my weird ideas, she would understand, accept, and will be able to guide me to the right path. My mom, my mom is the most important person in my life.
If it wasn't for her strong personality, I wouldn't be the person that I am today. She believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. She believed that I am strong, and she always believed that I had something great inside me. So by the age of 10 years old, I came to back to our country, United Arab Emirates. And two things happened during that phase. I learned Arabic and life practices. That made me question life in a deeper level. So after a couple of years, I went to the States to continue my study in the field of engineering, thinking that I am on the path to achieve success. But the foreign land made me feel lonely, and that feeling made me go and buy a camera. I didn't know what I'm going to do with it or what I'm get, where, how to use it, but I knew that camera was going to be my friend. I didn't expect that this random action will actually open up the doors of success after, 20 decades, after two decades. So I had a plan, and Almighty had a plan, another plan for me. So with my new friend, I started to explore life. It took me to places, and I took it to places. I didn't know back then that what I was actually collecting evidence for the Emirati Women's Encyclopedia to be used after 17 years. When I look back today, I can humbly say that, yes, I did start my path, my academic path in engineering. That's when Almighty started another path for me, photography. So I continued on my study in the field of architecture. And when I say architecture, I can say that I found the love of my life. It made me feel fully alive. I loved it so much to the point that I started to collect awards and certificate of excellence. The light of success was shining bright on me from all angles. I didn't know that this bright path had a dead end. And as the famous quote says, when a window closes, a double, a double door is set to open. As an architect who loved everything, the, the rude surprise came when the doors of architecture shut. Everything seemed dark. And I reached the lowest low in my life. In that place, I remember it was only me, I, and myself. I remember my mom telling me, if you don't get up and search for hope deep within you and for, search for the light that will pick you up, no one on the face of the planet will be able to do that for you. It's hard to let go of what we love. As an architect who loved everything, I had nothing but to accept. So when life says no, it means it's not meant to be. When life says wait, it means something great awaits. And when life says yes, That's the best. So as the moment I decided to let go of the thought of the attachment for the love of architecture, my mind started to clear. I started to think clearly. And I went, got up, and I was searching for something that I loved and might have left behind. That's when I spotted my camera, my long-lost friend. Yes, our path wasn't all roses and rainbow, but it was full of life. I've always had a dream, I've, I've always had a dream to visit the African continent. And finally, that dream did come true. 
And in the year 2019, me with my best friend, we were finally able to go to Africa. And when I came back, a surprise was waiting for me. I was featured in the Emirati Women's Encyclopedia under the title, The Inspiring Personality, as the first Emirati and Arabic wildlife photographer in the world. Yes, and that was the beginning of a new journey. I believe that the journey of life is really hard. It's extremely hard even when you're going solo by yourself. It's really hard to believe and trust in yourself and your thoughts in what you're doing and that this will open up the, the doors of success one day. In this phase, you have two options. One, you either become your best friend and love what you're doing, or you become your worst enemy and hate everything. For me, traveling solo, spending lots of time alone, taught me about myself a lot. I was able to understand my strength and my limitation. In the process, it took me a, while, a mile ahead, facing the world. I'm thankful for the journey of my life. I'm thankful for the ups, as they motivated me. And I'm extremely thankful for the downs as they made me stronger from the inside. I believe each one of us can go anywhere if we love, trust, and believe in ourselves and focus on our dream. How does one know that they are on the right path? When everything feels right from the inside, when everything feels right in the inside, it doesn't mean that you're not going to have any challenges, but it means that you have developed enough passion and love for what you're doing to the point that you can face them all. I believe that passion is the secret to success. Living with passion means waking up with a purpose, with a calling, with a deep meaning, a calling that's made for you. A great summary, a great, a great spiritual leader that I follow once said, be moderate in seeking lively pleasures as each one of us is going to be created for what they were, they were meant for. Knowing oneself deeply Knowing what feels right, passion, and what we are meant to do, dream, in this short journey called life, help us lead a life full of meaning, simply moving from existing to living. Thank you.